Why are NVIDIA's H100, H200, and other AI chips so hard to get? What's causing this supply crunch? Stick around to find out, and we'll also dive into the tech magic behind these AI chips. Hey, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video, and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. All right, so let's start off with just an overview of the supply constraints. Why is there a supply constraint with NVIDIA's AI chips? It's a mix of soaring demand, production bottlenecks, and geopolitical factors. Let's break it down a little bit more. High demand for AI chips. The explosion of AI applications, especially generative AI, has skyrocketed the demand for high-performance GPUs like NVIDIA's H100, H200, and the upcoming Blackwell platform. Tech giants like Amazon, Microsoft, Meta Platforms, Tesla, and OpenAI are doubling down on AI, as these tech giants continue to develop revolutionary technologies like the next greatest AI model, the amount of data and computational power continues to increase, increasing the demand for AI chips. The need for new data centers to support AI workloads is also stretching the supply of GPUs. NVIDIA CFO mentioned in their quarter one fiscal year 2025 earnings that the H100 supply is growing, but the H200 is still constrained and Blackwell, though in full production, can't meet the demand and they will be supply constrained well into next year. Now, if you're finding this breakdown helpful, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future tech deep dives. Next, let's talk about production bottlenecks. Number one is advanced packaging constraints. NVIDIA's data centers, GPUs, and AI accelerators rely on TSMC's advanced COWAS packaging, also known as chip on wafer on substrate, which has limited capacity. It is reported that in December of 2023, TSMC's COWAS monthly production capacity increased to 14 to 15,000 wafers. It is estimated by the fourth quarter of this year, TSMC's COWAS monthly production capacity will significantly expand to 33 to 35,000. Recent updates even suggest that it could be over 40,000 wafers. Thank you all for the crazy support. So if you haven't and are enjoying the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. Finally, if you want to support the channel a little bit more, make sure to check out my special offer at fool.com slash Jose. Now back to today's episode. Next, we have lead times and manufacturing delays. Lead times for components and equipments have stretched from months to years. For instances, there are reports that delivery times for custom cooling systems Systems and backup generators have extended from a few months to up to a few years. Next, we have ramp up time. Scaling production isn't instantaneous, as there is much that goes into the manufacturing process. You don't go from one unit to infinite amount of units in a matter of days. Next, we do have geopolitical and market dynamics. Right now, we do have the U.S.-China trade restrictions. The U.S. has restricted AI chip sales to China, leading to a stockpiling by companies that could still get them. Diversifying supply chain. NVIDIA is partnering with other companies for packaging service to ease the pressure on TSMC, but this adds new tech validation and product qualification challenges. Now, we do have some pr improvements and future outlooks for COAS and advanced pa packaging. Capacity expansions, for example. As previously mentioned, TSMC is doubling down in COAS capacity by the end of 2024. This sounds like a lot, but as we heard from NVIDIA's earnings call, demand is growing even faster thanks to AI applications and data center expansions. In summary, NVIDIA's H100, H200, and other AI chips are supply constrained from various reasons, from explosive demand, production challenges, and geopolitical issues. Even with the capacity expansion, high demand will keep the pressure on. Next, I want to take a closer look at what is COAS technology, the unsung hero behind NVIDIA's AI chip. But first, what is advanced packaging? Advanced packaging in semiconductor refers to the techniques used to connect and package multiple semiconductor chips together in a compact and efficient way. It's like fitting several puzzle pieces into one box, making them work closely together and has various benefits. For example, improved performance. Chips can communicate faster and more efficiently. Smaller size, the overall package can be more compact, saving space in devices. Energy efficient, it reduces the power needed for chips to communicate. 
There are also unfortunately some cons which are affecting AI chip supply right now. First is limited suppliers. There are few suppliers capable of producing advanced packages which can create supply chain bottlenecks. Second, longer lead times. The complexity and specialized nature of advanced packaging can result in longer production lead times. Next, we have development costs. Advanced packaging techniques often require significant research and development investments, which can also increase the manufacturing costs as the amount of investment needed to do these types of solution increases. Now that we know about advanced packaging, let's learn more about the one that is crucial to NVIDIA's AI chip. So let's learn more about chip on wafer on substrate, aka COWAS. Developed by TSMC, COWAS integrates multiple chips or dyes onto a single packages, enabling high-performance computing and artificial intelligence applications. COWAS technology is crucial for creating dense, high-bandwidth connections that are essential for modern AI and high-performance computing workloads. Key features of COAS include integration of multiple dyes. COAS allows for the stacking of multiple chips on the wafer, which are then connected to a substrate. This integration enhances performance and space utilization. Next is advanced interconnects, which provide high density interconnection between the chips, which is critical for maintaining performance and reducing latency, obviously very important for artificial intelligence applications. There's also a huge variety of COAS technology. The most most common is COWAS S, and this is used in many high-performance GPUs. Then we have COWAS R, redistribution layer, a cost-effective alternative. Next, we have COWAS L, which supports large interprocessors for integrating multiple high-performance chiplets and significant memory stacks. This is what NVIDIA's Blackwell platform is going to use. I want to end this episode by taking a closer look at key equipment suppliers for COAS. There's several companies involved in either the manufacturing or the equipment or one way or another involved in COAS packaging. Here are some of the key players, but please take note that most of these companies are only making limited amount of revenue from these specialized products slash solutions. The first one we're going to take a closer look at is TSMC, and we have discussed them a lot in today's episode, which is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing. TSMC is a leading provider of COAS technology and has been expanding its COAS packaging capabilities to meet the growing demand from major tech companies like like NVIDIA. Number two is ASML. ASML is a major supplier of photolithography equipment, which is essential for patterning the silicon interprocessors used in COAS packaging. Number three, we have Applied Materials, which is a, supplies a range of equipment used in semiconductor manufacturing process, including tools for deposition, etching, and planarization, all which are crucial for COAS packaging. Next, we have LAM Research. LAM Research provides etching and deposition equipment that is used in the creation of silicon interprocessors and the TSVs required for COAS packaging. Next, we have ASM Pacific Technology, which is a leading supplier of wafer assembly and packaging equipment, including tools specifically designed for advanced packaging technologies. Next, we have CLAC. CLAC offers inspection and metrology equipment that ensures the quality and precision of the COAS packaging process. We have SUS Microtech. SUSS, which provides equipment for lithography, bonding, and metrology, which are used in the COAS packaging process. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in to today's deep dive into NVIDIA's AI chip supply constraints and COAS technology. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more insight content on AI and tech advancements.